Hi, how you doing? My name is Roberto Edwards from the International Bad Boy of Panama. And we're here to represent the ethnic essentials here in the Miami Carnival. And this is my beautiful wife, Rowena Edwards. I'm going to give you guys a brief history, a short history as why I'm here and why I'm so passionate about this. Because see here, we're representing the slave, the slave from back home, from back in the days when the, the, the colonists trying to enslave us. And the Congo, we, I represent the Congo. I'm very passionate about it because anytime you go to a party or come here, people tend to forget and don't want to talk about their culture. And I'm about culture and trying to remember people, if it wasn't for us, a lot of people wouldn't be here today because the, the colony enslaved or slave and try to use us. And that's why the Congo come into play. Now, we have the Diablos or the Devils or the Devil Nation. Make it, make it very, very clear. The devil represent the colony trying to enslave the black people. Back then, used to call in the blue-eyed devil, and that's where the, the term devil came from. It's not nothing satanic, it's nothing evil, but just the, it represents the white man, if I could say it that way directly, trying to enslave the black people. So there, back then, they was considered the devil. So that's why we try to always remember people where we came from and what we all about. Now, the colors of the, the devil is red and black. Those are the traditional colors. Now, I could have bring a fancy color and uh, all that stuff for the carnival purpose, but I'm also for culture, represent the basis. So I'm here represent the red and black for black people, for, for slave people that was enslaved. So I'm here to represent them, to remember people that we are free now. But back then we wasn't free. So this is an incarnation of what we stand for. Okay, we just can't go on living, thinking everything was sweet. But back then we had people were suffering, slavery. So that's what the Diablo stand for, and the Congo stand for. Okay, I'm trying to make that very clear because I'm tired the time you go to a party or Panamanian party, any kind of party, they don't want to talk about our culture. They think they put it to the side, like they don't matter. To me, it do, because that's where my people came from. My people came from the island, from Jamaica, Belize, Barbados, all those places. We came here as slaves to Panama. And through the Congo, we kind of react and make people remember the struggle of people had back then. This was a struggle, and I'm here to keep that culture here for people don't forget what we went through, what my people went through. That's why I'm here now today at this biggest event with the census group here in Miami Carnival to bring our culture to light so people could see the struggle we had and what my ancestor had back then. That's all I gotta say, and this is my beautiful wife that she always backed me up. If it wasn't for her dealing with my struggle, dealing with me, trying to go out there and represent my culture all the time, you gotta have a strong backbone supporter. Exactly. But behind a great man, I was a good woman. And I have a good woman. Just like my friend, my friend Federico have a great woman too to support us in our mission. That's what you need. And we will continue keeping this culture alive. Okay, exactly. now say Thank something you. about ethnic essentials. No, ethnic is essential. It's so funny how we start. We all both got the same vision. I started out this thing about 10 years ago or even more longer than that. I say about 15 years, and I was just me alone in Chicago, because I'm from Chicago, born and raised in Panama. And through his wife, Federico's wife, she contacted me. We joined in force, and Ignis Essential, we're gonna change the vision of what people think of Panama. We're here to show everybody that our culture here to stay, and we're gonna keep pushing. Ignis Essential is the group to be on. If you Panamanian, support us. Because we're trying to do this struggle ourselves, just me and him and his wife and my wife. So please support Ethnic Essential because we are about culture. We're not about money. We're not trying to get ghetto on people. We're here to represent our culture and continue our legacy of our ancestors. Because me and my ancestors are not going to die for nothing. And Ethnic Essential is the group to do it, get it done. Family films, you, you gotta have courage. Story.